How would you cope with the hottest summer in 200 years, a dying mother and a broken family? My quick thoughts on the hills of California at the Harold Pinter Theatre. The play takes us on a journey far from the sunny California landscape it evokes in its title. Instead, it dives into the sweltering black pool of 1976, the driest summer in 200 years. It tells the story of the Webb sisters, who come back to their mom's old guest house in the middle of the tourist craze. While everyone else is having fun in the sun, they have to deal with their mom's sickness upstairs. They also have to face their own problems, their messed up relationships, their regrets from the past, and their worries about the future. The play talks about a lot of things that we can all relate to, like family, death, and dreams. It shows how hard it is to get along with our siblings, especially when we have different personalities and opinions. It also shows how scary it is to lose someone we love and how we have to say goodbye and move on. It makes us think about our own life and what we want to do with it. Do we follow our dreams or do we settle for something else? Do we make choices that make us happy or do we sacrifice for others? The play also uses different times, 1976 and the present, to show how things change over time. It shows how the past affects who we are and how we see things. The play also has a lot to say about the world we live in and how unfair it can be. It shows how some people have it all and some people have nothing. It makes us wonder why some people get more chances than others and how hard it is to survive when we have no money or support. It also briefly touches on female child abuse but I felt like they could have dug a little deeper into that theme. He probably would have made the story way longer though which kind of makes sense. Jez Butterworth, the playwright, is one of my favorites. He wrote The Amazing Jerusalem which won a lot of awards. The writing is very deep and touching, the dialogues are funny and sad at the same time and they show how the way family feels and what they don't say. However, the the play's structure was somewhat confusing to me at times, especially when new main and side characters kept appearing. It's really different from Jed's path towards earlier plays, I think. Sam Mendes, one of the most influential stage and film directors, directs the show. He's renowned for his acclaimed work, The Ferryman, which some of you may remember, and the remarkable film American Beauty, which I really love too. He makes the stage look like a real guest house, and he makes you feel like you are there with the characters. He also places the focus on the actors nuanced performances. In fact, the cast was incredible. We can easily navigate the emotional depths of their stories, especially during those intense individual breakdowns. I believe Mendes also uses some tricks from movies, which I found very fascinating. We can see that in the smooth transitions between past and present moments, and also his ability to direct our attention to different moments within a scene, which feels like a camera zooming in. This is a play that will make you feel a lot of things, and it will make you think a lot of things, offering reflection on the complexities that shape our lives, explore through the lens of the female experience. Hills of California is at the Harold Pinter Theatre until the 15th of June.